This is the fuel bought by T-River, fuel gauge system for the Triumph motorcycle. Here you can see the processor which computes the consumed fuel by measuring the fuel injection pulses. Connection is very simple. It comes with a supplied adapter harness that connects directly into the OEM speed sensor. There is another connector for the optional LCD display. Connection to the bike is very straightforward because of the supplied adapter harness. There are only a couple of connections to make. The first is this grey wire, which is the connection to the fuel injector. This connects via a positap, very simple connection. Of these three cables, two go directly to, to pre-wired functions. One is for the selector switch, and the other is for the LCD display. The third is the only one that requires to have a physical connection, and that is to the OEM tackle. For the third wire, that connects to the OEM TAC display. That harness comes already terminated with terminal to plug directly into the OEM instrument connector plug. Or you can hardwire it directly into the OEM wire if you prefer. Now let's watch the module power up. You can see the welcome splash on the LCD screen and it immediately then goes to its initial display in mode 1 which is shown in the character on the right on the bottom row and F100 means it's full 100% and at this point it doesn't have any details on the DTE which is distance to empty because it hasn't started collecting data at this point. So the other functions on the LCD display on the top row AM is the average miles per gallon, M is the accumulated miles uh, or odometer trip reading uh, which would be reset at each refill and DTE again is the distance till empty that's an estimate based on the average miles per gallon and how much fuel is left and F100 is again in this case it's 100% full and the display is in mode 1. Now we can go to fuel mode for the TAC and to do that, we press the button two times, one, two, and you can see that the tack has swept up to 10, which represents 100%, which is the same as on the LCD display, which you can see here. It also says 4.745 uh, gallons, which is again the full capacity for this 18 liter tank. Pressing one time on the selector button, returns it to TAC mode and of course this would indicate RPM if the engine was running. So here is the system in the TAC mode and if we go 1-2 we go into fuel mode. So you can see that the TAC is not operational when it's in fuel bot mode. We go back to TAC mode. So looking at some of the other functions, for example, uh, mode 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we get the tax sweep goes to 4, 0.7, 3, 9, so there's 4.739 gallons left. It will repeat, 4.739. Nine. And if we look at the display on the LCD, it also says 